Shalom awesome kids. Welcome to Awesome Kids English Service. The following are what you need to do. The first, prepare yourself and put on decent outfit. The second, not to lie down, sit properly. If you are not in good shape, you can be on your bed. The third, prepare your Bible. The fourth, prepare your notebook and pen or pencil to write down the message. The fifth, be enthusiastic in praising and worshiping God. The sixth, you should not stroll or wander around and you should not converse with one another. And the seventh, pray along with the others. Have a great time during the service. May God bless you.
Now it's time to listen to his word. Are you ready? Okay, everyone, come on, prepare your heart, prepare your ears, and enjoy the word of God. Should all the acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should all the acquaintance be forgot and the days of old Lang Syne? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yeah! Wow! It's the new year and it's the last Sunday of the month. So, as always, it's English service time. Princess and princesses, without further ado, let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you so much for this year. Thank you for 2023. Thank you that we want to understand your will in this year. And dear God, we are so ready for your message. Talk to each one of us. Anoint us. Make us understand and implement whatever you want us to do in our lives. Thank you so much, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Everybody say, Amen. Now let me introduce you the message titles throughout this month. The message titles in this month are Listen Properly, Think Properly, Speak Properly, and Act Properly. Let's read the scripture from week 1 which is taken from Genesis chapter 3 from verse 1 to 6. The Fall now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God really say, You must not eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, We may eat fruit from the trees in the garden, but God did say, You must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden, and you must not touch it or you will die. You will not certainly die, the serpent said to the woman, for God knows that when you eat from it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. When the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eye and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it. We are now in 2023, and our church teaches us to have faith in understanding God's will, as the theme is the year of understanding God's will. We will understand Him when we read the Bible, praise Him, worship Him, and pray to Him. As God's children, we have to obey and listen to God. You don't listen to those who tell you to disobey your parents, teachers, awesome kids trainers, or the pastors at the church. From the Bible reading earlier, we learn that Eve disobeyed God by eating the fruit in the middle of the garden, which God himself had forbidden Adam and Eve not to eat it, and yet they did. Therefore, boys and girls, in order for you not to fall into the devil's traps and can hear the Lord's voice, you need to read the Bible every day and listen to the advices from people God has trusted in, like your parents, awesome kids trainers, teachers at school, and church pastors. The memory verse from week 1 is taken from Jeremiah 42, verse 6b whether it is favorable or unfavorable we will obey the lord our god 
Now I would like you to turn to Philippians chapter 4 verse 8. This is the scripture from week 2. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. All the organs of our body have their own functions according to God's creation. Our brain is able to store memories. Thus, what you read, hear, and see will stay in your brain. So be careful if you see violence, hear swear words, hear demotivated words, or anything negative. All of them will be stored in your memory, and in that case, you will get scared, be violent, or say curse words easily. It is much better to read the Bible, listen to gospel songs, so that what you will remember and think about are God's goodness and love in your lives. Then you will always remember God's promises. In addition, you will be grateful all the time towards the Lord. Philippians 4 verse 7 is the memory verse. And the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Three scriptures for week three scripture. The first one is from 1 Samuel 25 from verse 2 to 3. A certain man in Maon who had property there at Carmel was very wealthy. He had a thousand goats and three thousand sheep, which he was sharing in Carmel. His name was Nabal, and his wife's name was Abigail. She was an intelligent and beautiful woman, but her husband was surly and mean. In his dealings, he was a Calebite. Next is from 1 Samuel 25, verse 9 to 17. When David's men arrived, they gave Nabal this message in David's name. Then they waited. Nabal answered David's servants, Who is this David? Who is this son of Jesse? Many servants are breaking away from their masters these days. Why should I take my bread and water and the meat I have slaughtered for my shearers and give it to men coming from who knows where. David's men turned around and went back. When they arrived, they reported every word. David said to his men, Each of you, strap on your sword. So they did, and David strapped his on as well. About 400 men went up with David, while 200 stayed with the supplies. One of the servants told Abigail, Nabal's wife, David sent messengers from the wilderness to give our master his greetings, but he hurled insults at them. Yet these men were very good to us. They did not mistreat us, and the whole time we were out in the fields near them, nothing was missing. Night and day, they were a wall around us the whole time we were herding our sheep near them. Now think it over and see what you can do, because disaster is hanging over our master and his whole household. He is such a wicked man that no one can talk to him. And the next one is from 1st Samuel 25 verse 32 to 35 David said to Abigail praise be to the Lord the God of Israel who has sent you today to meet me may you be blessed for your good judgment and for keeping me from bloodshed this day and from avenging myself with my own hands otherwise as surely as the Lord, the God of Israel, lives, who has kept me 
from harming you. If you had not come quickly to meet me, no one male belonging to Nabal would have been left alive by daybreak. Then David accepted from her hand what she had brought him and said, Go home in peace. I have heard your words and granted your request. A tongue is functioned to help us talk. By using the tongue, people praise God. Sadly, by using the same tongue, people can also speak ill of others and speak negatively. How is that possible? That's because they do not control what they must say. People who tell lies and speak ill of others will not gain trust from others. Based on the scripture just now, we learned that Nabal did not think first before talking. On the contrary, his wife Abigail would use her brain first before speaking. And thanks to her, her whole family was kept away from danger. Boys and girls, I encourage all of you to always think first before talking. Pray and ask God to help control your tongue. You don't want to use hurtful words to the people around you. Make sure what you say is a blessing to others. And here's the memory verse. It's taken from Proverbs 10 verse 20. The tongue of the righteous is choice silver, but the heart of the wicked is of little value. Week 4 scriptures are classified into three. The first is Job 1 from verse 1 to 7. In the land of Uz, there lived a man whose name was Job. This man was blameless and upright. He feared God and shunned evil. He had seven sons and three daughters, and he owned 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 500 yoke of oxen and 500 donkeys and had a large number of servants he was the greatest man among all the people of the east his sons used to hold feasts in their homes on their birthdays and they would invite their three sisters to eat and drink with them when a period of feasting had run its course job would make arrangements for them to be purified. Early in the morning, he would sacrifice a burnt offering for each of them, thinking, perhaps my children have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. This was Job's regular custom. One day, the angels came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came with them the lord said to satan where have you come from satan answered the lord from roaming throughout the earth going back and forth on it the second is job 1 verse 8 to 15 then the lord said to satan have you considered my servant job there is no one on earth like him. He is blameless and upright, a man who fears God and shuns evil. Does Job fear God for nothing? Satan replied. Have you not put a hedge around him and his household and everything he has? You have blessed the work of his hands so that his flocks and herds are spread throughout the land. But now, Stretch out your hand and strike everything he has, and he will surely curse you to your face. The Lord said to Satan, Very well, then everything he has is in your power, but on the man himself do not lay a finger. Then Satan went out from the presence of the Lord. One day when Job's sons and daughters were feasting and drinking wine at the oldest brother's house, a passenger came to Job and said, The oxen were plowing and the donkeys were grazing nearby, and the Sabaeans attacked and made off with them. They put the servants 
to the sword and I am the only one who has escaped to tell you. And the last is Job 1 verse 16 to 22. While he was still speaking, another messenger came and said, The fire of God fell from the heavens and burned up the sheep and the servants, and I am the only one who has escaped to tell you. While he was still speaking, another messenger came and said, The Chaldeans formed three raiding parties and swept down on your camels and made off with them. They put the servants to the sword, and I am the only one who has escaped to tell you. While he was still speaking, yet another messenger came and said, Your sons and daughters were feasting and drinking wine at the oldest brother's house, when suddenly a mighty wind swept in from the desert and struck the four corners of the house. It collapsed on them and they are dead, and I am the only one who has escaped to tell you. At this, Job got up and tore his robe and shaved his head. Then he fell to the ground in worship and said, Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked I will depart. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. May the name of the Lord be praised. In all this, Job did not sin by charging God with wrongdoing. Technology is getting advanced and sophisticated in this era. The use of the internet keeps enhancing, hence accesses towards everything have become way too easy. Sadly, not everything on the internet is positive and good for you. For that reason, you need to ask your parents to help you while using the internet. Job gives us a very good example. Of course, back in his days, there was no internet access. But my point is, we can learn from him. He was a good man who always tried to stay away from troubles. When he faced problems, he still decided to act what was right. Let us learn from Job to have good principles. Don't be influenced by anything you see on the internet. You should filter yourself not to be contaminated by the negative information from the internet. Ask your parents to help you and also pray to God so you can be reminded to do good. Not only from the internet, you need to make sure to be friend with people who fear the Lord so that you can be influenced with good stuff. And the memory verse is taken from John 3 verse 21. But whoever lives by the truth comes into the light, so that it may be seen plainly that what they have done has been done in the sight of God. Let me repeat all the message titles throughout this month. Week 1 we have listen properly, week 2 think properly, week 3 speak properly, and week 4 act properly. I also want to encourage all of you to remember all the memory verses I have shared. Let's close in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the message today. We learned to listen properly, think properly, speak properly, and act properly. Help us to be able to do so. Dear God, we are so ready to get back to our daily lives. Be with us all the time. Guide our lives. And dear Jesus, we want to pray for these children's parents. Bless them as well. Thank you so much. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Everybody say, Amen. Stay healthy, everyone. Eat nutritious food. Eat vegetables, fruit, and consume vitamins put on your mask whenever you have to leave the house and stay hygiene wash your hands have you subscribed to this channel hit the like button and share the link to many people let them be blessed follow the instagram account of awesome kids so you can be notified with 
awesome kids occasions if you want to be prayed you can go ahead send in your prayer list to this email address or text us to this whatsapp number for old lang syne my dear for old lang syne we'll drink a cup of kindness yet for the sake of old lang syne happy new year 2023 to all of you i pray that you will be blessed throughout this year have a great sunday everyone the time